Hey, what's up, everybody? BDL44 coming at you with another video. All right, so good news for the Lakers. We signed Harry Giles, a uh, guy out of uh, North Carolina. It's went to Duke, uh, 20th pick overall in the 2017 draft. Uh, and he played for the Sacramento Kings and most recently for the Brooklyn Nets. Now, I didn't check on his stats and everything. Uh, I do remember him when he was drafted, of course. All the, you know, 17 was one of them years. I was playing moderate attention but not doing heavy homework on draft uh players so i don't really know what all he can do Six ten, seven three wingspan um we don't expect him to come in and, and, and just take over the, the starting center spot he's he's, t he's taking on a two-way contract so he'll probably spend some time in the g league um we did waive uh what's most of my guy that won this rebound is a, a, a billion rebounds in one game caucasian dude uh, we only saw him a couple times. He didn't really get any, get into Darwin's rotation at all. Uh, wasn't able to really show what he could do. And, and this is what I suggested. I figured we would do better to just try to get us a center at this point. I like that player a lot. But uh, because he couldn't get in rotation, it was kind of pointless for him to be sitting on our bench just wasting away. He'd do better in the G League showing another team why he could actually be a part of that rotation. So I just felt like that was better for him. Uh, and for us, we needed a center so bad because of Colin Castleton's wrist injury, which is probably going to keep him out for longer than we can allow. And, of course, uh, Christian Wood's situation, which God knows what, how that's about to go. So, yeah, this was the right move is what I called for. So I'm, I'm definitely pleased that the Lakers made that decision, uh, picking up Harry Giles. Um, you know, I don't know what to expect from him as far as his talent level. I have no idea. I don't know. So we'll just be learning as we go along if he can make Darwin's rotation. But the point is, even if he doesn't, at least we have a serviceable center ready to suit up and play basketball. And that's really what it's about, having that center position decked out. I like the length. 7'3 wingspan, definitely good. I know he's considered a four in a lot of situations. From what I understand, he likes to play a four style of basketball. But that's hearsay. I haven't seen anything that would, uh, that would make it so that I can agree with that. But uh, all in all, we picked up Harry Giles. We're ready for him to suit up. Uh, and hopefully he'll be available as soon as tomorrow against the Denver Nuggets. So, yeah, man, Harry Giles, welcome to L.A. Uh, hope it works out for you. Uh, he's part of that Brooklyn Nets team, I'd imagine. He's played with Spencer Dinwiddie, so that should help him kind of ease into the locker room a little bit, even though Spencer's kind of new himself. Um, I'd imagine their time overlapped there in Brooklyn. And maybe he played a little bit with Tory and Prince in Brooklyn too, but I would not necessarily remember that. I don't know. So the point is we're getting a lot of stuff coming from that Brooklyn locker room, and hopefully that can kind of provide a certain level of synergy. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much where we're at, man. Harry Giles, L.A. Laker, BDL 44. Thank you all for watching. I'm out.